In this video, I'm going to be showing you what you need to do to get ACC in VR looking great with your MetaQuest 3 or your Quest 2. Now, it's widely known that ACC is not optimized for VR, making it one of the most difficult and challenging sim titles to not only to get it to perform well, but to also look good enough so you feel immersed enough to enjoy it. And I'll show you how to achieve just that. Now there are three sets of settings. There are the Oculus settings, so the settings to get the most out of your headset. There are the graphics card settings to get the most out of your graphics card, but also to offload those heavy lifting jobs to your graphics card rather than the CPU. And then it's the in-game settings. So first let's look at the Oculus settings. So you're gonna to need to install the Oculus desktop application. And if you've not got that, go ahead and download that now. Links are down in the description below. Once you've downloaded and installed it, launch the Oculus desktop app and power on your Quest 3. Once the headset's powered on, if you click on devices, you should see your headset there. Click on the right arrow just to the right there on the screen. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see my graphics preferences set there. Now here's a bonus tip for you if you haven't done it already. Click on the USB test option there at the bottom and then click the test connection button. Give this a few seconds. And what you're looking for is you're looking for a green tick that shows a compatible connection. If you don't see a green tick, then find a USB 3 port on your PC, connect the cable to it and run the test again. Once you get a compatible connection and a green tick, click quit test. Now, if you click back into devices, click back into your headset, scroll all the way down and click into graphics preferences. This is where I've got my refresh rate set. I am running 80 hertz, so I have tested 72 and 90, but I found 80 to be better. Now, this is the rendering resolution that I'm able to run my system at. Yours might be slightly different. But if you find that you're not able to drag this rendering resolution slider to the left or to the right, untick the automatic option and then you'll be able to move it across. Now I would recommend testing at 1.1 initially, run some tests and see how you get on. And then if everything works fine, increase it to 1.2, run the tests again, etc, etc, until you get to the highest rendering resolution that you can run at. Now the higher the better, but the higher does come with a performance impact. So run your tests and choose the best option for you. Now, the last area for the Oculus headset settings is going to be in the Oculus Debug tool. Now, when you installed the Oculus desktop app, it asked you where you wanted to install it. Mine is installed on the E drive, so if you find that folder, go into the Oculus folder, go into the Support folder, find Oculus Diagnostics, double-click on that, and there you're going to find the Oculus Debug tool. Now, click on this once to highlight it, and here's a bonus tip for you. If you right click and then choose create shortcut there at the bottom, this will place a shortcut to the Oculus Debug tool on your desktop, which will come in very, very handy a little later on. Now, once you've done that, double click on the Oculus Debug tool and you'll be shown something like this on screen. Now, these are my Oculus Debug settings. Now, the first one I wanna highlight is the FOV Tangent Multiplier there at the top. Now, I completely overlooked this, but by changing this value, even to just a small amount, just to bring in the FOV a little bit horizontally and vertically, made a massive difference in my performance headroom within the headset. I would say experiment with these values. The lower you can set these, the more performance headroom you're gonna get, but it will limit the image that's shown within the headset. Next, I want to talk about the encode resolution width, which I've set to 4128 here. So I've changed it from the default. And this is a one-to-one -one width match of the physical pixel resolution of the headset. Next, I want to talk about the encode bit rate. I have this set to 850. I did have this set to 950, and I can run it at 950 for AMS2 and AC, but I found dropping this a little bit made very little difference to the image quality, but helped with the performance headroom of the headset. Now, essentially, the higher this value, the better, the crisper the image. There is a maximum number that you can enter into this field of 500. If you want to go above that, simply type the number as an example 600 into Notepad and copy and paste that into the field and hit enter. Now, I would recommend starting at 300 and testing and going up in increments of 100 until you can reach the highest value possible without any glitches or any stuttering. And the only other option that I've changed is to set link sharpening to quality. Now that the Oculus settings are done, let's turn our attentions to the graphics card settings. If you're finding this video useful, drive straight into that subscribe button for more content like this. 
Now I have an Nvidia graphics card and what we're going to do next is we're going to launch the Nvidia control panel. So to do that, right click on your desktop and choose Nvidia control panel from the options. Next, we're going to choose manage 3D settings on the top left and then we're going to choose the program settings tab on the right hand side. Now where it says select a program to customize, drop that box down and choose the ACCXE if you see it. If you don't see it, click add. Now scroll down in this list and if you see ACC select that program, if you don't see that in this list and it could be a long list, click the browse button at the bottom and locate your Steam library. Mine is located on my D drive for ACC. So I'm going to go into the Steam library folder, into the Steam apps folder, into common, into the ACC folder there. Now don't choose the ACC XE here. If you go into the AC2 folder and then into binaries, into Win64, there's the XE there that you need to add. Select that XE and click the open button. Now these are the settings that I have set for ACC. There's the anisotropic filtering at the top. I've set that to 16 times and it is far better to have your GPU deal with anisotropic filtering than it is for your CPU. And as we scroll down, everything else is left at default. There's just a few more options here at the bottom and I'll leave them on screen for you now. Now the ocular settings are done and the graphics card settings are done. It's now time to focus on the in-game settings. Now to understand where we can spend this performance headroom, we need to understand which settings within ACC have the biggest performance costs. Now, after a little bit of research, I found an awesome guide by Linksec. Again, links down in the description below, who discusses every single setting within ACC. It is a great guide. I recommend you go and read that for sure. But what is also included is a set of baseline settings, which then leaves us with a small handful of settings within ACC that we can tune and tweak to get the best visual results. Now, to make it easier and quicker for you, I've included those baseline settings down in the description below. Now, download that file. Now, if you click into your documents folder and click into the ACC folder there like shown, go into customs and then go down to the video settings folder at the bottom. Double click in there and then save the VR baseline file inside that folder. Now, I already have that file there, so you won't see that. But if you save that file into there, we can open that up within the game. Now, as we're going to be tuning and tweaking settings and then testing those, I recommend having a performance HUD shown within the Oculus headset. Now, the Oculus debug tool already provides one of those. So if you open that up and look towards the bottom, you'll see where it says visible HUD. Change that from non to performance and then we're good to go. So it's almost time to launch ACC, but before we do that, there's one last thing we need to do, and that is to enable the Oculus Link option. Now we're gonna press the, the Oculus button on the controller, and we're gonna click on the date and time, which is a, a quick shortcut to quick settings. And you can see Quest Link there. We're gonna click on that. There's the PC, it says connected, and we're just gonna click launch. And then after a short few seconds, you'll see there we are. We are now in Oculus Link. So go back to Steam, find a set of course of Competizione and click on play. Now you're going to be shown three options. Top one is for monitors. The middle one is for Steam VR headsets and the bottom is for Oculus headsets. So we're going to choose that and we're going to click play. And after a short few seconds, we'll find ourselves within ACC. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to load that VR baseline file that we saved earlier. And to do that, we're going to click on the options there at the bottom. We're going to click on video and then we're going to click on manage custom video presets. And here you'll see those two files that we saw in the folder earlier. There's the VR baseline file. If you just click on the load button, that will load the settings into a set of Corsa for you and then click apply at the bottom. Now all that's left to be done is to tune or tweak a few settings. Now during my research I came across another awesome guide by Aureus. Link is down in the description below. And this is a guide for the Oculus Quest 2 and ACC. So if you have a Quest 2 and you're trying to get the most out of it, absolutely recommend reading through this article. It is a great read. It's very, very easy to understand. It talks through every single setting and the performance improvement or performance cost 
of setting each value. I would also recommend if you don't have a beefy PC or a, or a high-end graphics card, reading through this again and trying out some of the values that are discussed in this article. Now, what I did was I used these guides as a baseline, but then tuned and tweaked this even further for the Quest 3 to achieve the results that you see on screen now. Now, as I've mentioned, I do have a beefy PC. I have a 4090 graphics card. And what you're seeing on screen now are the settings that I've been testing for weeks and weeks and weeks. You're more than welcome to copy them down. I will leave them on the screen for you now and scroll through them. If you don't want to do that, I've included the settings file, the video presets file for you. Link is down in the description below. Simply just download that like you did the VR baseline file. Place that in the same directory as the VR baseline file. And then as you come into ACC, you can just load it like we did before. If you're ready to take your sim to the next level, check out the video that's on screen now, which is 10 game changing apps every sim racer needs. Catch you in the next one.